We had a guy come to the event the other day with a vintage wood stove he was looking to sell. We weren't able to make a deal on it, but he does have a farm here in town with some vintage tractors he might be willing to sell. So me and the boys are out here at this farm to see if we can pull a deal home. Greg, how's it going? It's going good, how you doing? Hey Chum, this is Greg, we met him the other day. Tell me how you doing. I'm good, how you doing? All right, you said you had old tractors. You didn't tell me you put superchargers on them. <laughs> yeah, these are all vintage tractors that have been gone through from top to bottom. 59, 60 and 59, I think. It's about twice the horsepower as it came off the factory floor. Because stock, this thing was probably 60, 70 horsepower, right? It's 150 now. Modified a wee bit, huh? A wee bit, yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, these are old school. I mean, no, tractors started off turn of the century. They just had big wheels with, like, spikes on them. That was the only way they had traction. You couldn't ride them on the road or anything that destroy the roads. But you know what these things did for farmers? Made Maybe their job it, easier? A gazillion times easier. Plow the fields, take in the crops. Next thing you know, they're building roads with them. Tractors built America. These are pretty gnarly. But I do want one that'll pull some tree stumps. I live in Oregon. I mean, I got sections of trees that weigh 10,000 pounds we got to drag out. You guys got tiny little trees out here. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> All right, so this one right here, you're saying it probably puts out 100 horsepower? 150. 100. How much you want for that thing? Probably about 75,000. Okay. All right, so the case right here doesn't have a supercharger on it. How many horsepower are you getting out of this? About 100. So what year is this? It's a 1960. So five years older than me. And it runs better than you. <laughs> <laughs> and how much do you want for this one? Uh, about 45. 45,000. And what about this one over here? Uh, that's a 1959. It's about 150 horsepower. And you put a supercharger on this one, too? Yes. So how much do you want for the Massey? Uh, it's 75. All right, I really like this one right here. That's too much tractor for you, Rick. Your property needs something like this. All right, do you fire one of these things up? We can fire anything up you want. If you want to do a pull, we can get a couple drivers and we'll do a pull. That sounds great. Okay, let me go get my guys and I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't trust you to drive the tractor, Rick. Can you blame him? All right, Rick, I managed to find some guys that want to have fun. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to hook the tractor to the sled and pull with the weight that we're going to throw to it. So how much does that sled weigh? So the sled weighs 33,000 pounds. Okay. Yeah, let's hook this thing up. I want to see All right. it. All right, <laughs> let's go. That's really cool. I like it better than I do the tractors. <laughs> I think that'll handle a big old tree. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Maxed out. You ever seen a tractor do wheelies? No. <laughs> I think it did amazing. I mean, that's all the horsepower in the world. I mean, that more than you need. I still pull anything you want to put behind it, probably. You know, I know I could use it, but like, it's a lot of tractor. All right. I mean, would you take like twenty-five for it? I can't. I can't do that. I mean, would you take thirty? Can't do that. I got more than that in it. I can see how you have more than that in it, but um, it's just too much tractor for me. Not the tractor for me, but thanks for showing us your farm. You're welcome. Thanks, Thank man. you. You're welcome. We'll see y'all.